In this section, you begin the design of the proposed restaurant by drawing the exterior walls for the building. This will be done using the structural grid as a reference. You will utilize the Place SmartLine tool along with the aid of AccuDraw for precision placement. So let's begin by opening the proposed restaurant DGN file. This can be found in the 04 Drawing with MicroStation folder. From the Home tab of the ribbon, in Attributes, We'll first start off by setting the active level to A Wall Full EXTR. The level picker is used to set the active level that new graphics will be placed on. In this case, those graphics will be used to represent exterior walls. In the case of a long list of levels, you may find it helpful to type in part of the level name into the search field to truncate the list of levels. All right, so now that we have our correct level set, we will start placing walls using the SmartLine tool. We find the Place SmartLine tool in the Placement Ribbon group of the Home tab. The value of any tool lies in its impact on productivity. As you will see, Place SmartLine can greatly increase drawing productivity. This tool combines functions of several individual tools into a single placement command, streamlining the drawing process. The tool can place a chain of connected lines and arcs as individual elements or as a string, creating a complex chain or complex shape. The segment vertices can be sharp points, rounded, or chamfers. In the Place SmartLine tool settings window, let's verify the following options are enabled. Join elements. This means that as you create multiple segments, they will be connected as a single element. And rotate AccuDraw. This means as you create each segment, the AccuDraw compass aligns its X axis to the previous segment. SmartLine, AccuDraw, and AccuSnap, in combination, provide a powerful tool set for creating designs in MicroStation. With the active level set to AWOL, Full, EXTR, and the Place SmartLine tool active, you are ready to start creating lines that will represent exterior walls of the building. As you step through this, feel free to pan and zoom to make it more convenient to snap to the proper locations. All right, so let's start creating the exterior walls. Move your cursor to the upper right corner of column A1. You will notice that a bold yellow X will appear, indicating that you have snapped to the exact corner of this column. Go ahead now and click the data button, which is the left mouse button, to start drawing the new line from this point. When you move the pointer over an element in the design, AccuSnap displays the nearest key point with a hint, or 10 of point marker if the pointer is within the key point sensitivity range. To select a different key point, simply move the pointer to the required region of the element, and AccuSnap will again show you where the nearest key point is located. Next, move the cursor to the right to start drawing the line. Use AccuDraw to keep the thick indexing line displayed, allowing the line to be locked to the horizontal axis. Using AccuSnap, select the upper left corner of column A9, then enter a data point, again a left mouse click, to accept. Do not press the right mouse button or perform a reset. This would reset the command stopping the placement of the current smart line. We're going to continue in the upward direction and AccuSnap to the lower left corner of column C9. Here we'll enter a data point. Moving to the left now, AccuSnap to the lower left corner of column C7. We'll enter a data point. Next, we'll move upward using AccuSnap to the lower left corner of column D7. And here we'll enter another data point. You can easily proceed from here as you were by snapping from column to column to finish the wall. However, as an alternative for the next several points, we will utilize AccuDraw for precision placement by providing exact values. Here, AccuDraw is shown undocked for clarity. The AccuDraw dialog may also be docked into the interface. 
With the Place SmartLine tool still active, the AccuDraw compass is currently located at the last vertex that was placed at column D7. Now, we're going to move the cursor to the left. And with the input focus in the distance field of the AccuDraw window, go ahead and type in 5485. Remember that our units are set to millimeters and this is what this value represents. Continue by indexing to the X axis, that green tick mark in this case, and issue a data point. Continuing from the last vertex just placed at column D7, move your cursor now in the upward direction. Here, we'll type in 3048 into the distance field of the AccuDraw window. We'll press the tab key and type 90 into the angle field. Go ahead and issue a data point to place the vertex. Then we'll move the cursor to the left while the line is relatively aligned to the horizontal axis. We'll press the enter key on the keyboard, locking the line to the horizontal axis. Next, we'll press the tab key to put focus into the distance field, and then we'll type 10767. Then, issue a data point to place the segment. So, we're going to complete the exterior walls by snapping to the lower right corners of columns D4, D3, B3, B1, and then finally, the upper right corner of A1, completing the placement of the smart line. For now, we are finished working on the exterior walls. In a real world workflow, you would address the exterior walls thickness by offsetting this single line that was just created. This will be covered along with various other manipulation tools in another module. By default, when you use SmartLine to place more than one element in succession, for instance, a line, an arc, and then another line, MicroStation automatically assembles the resulting graphics into a complex chain. Since you finished where you started, meaning closed the shape, SmartLine created a complex shape. On the other hand, if you place two data points to make a line, then you get just a line. The same goes for a single arc. SmartLine keeps the resulting elements as simple as possible. So now we're going to view the entire design. And so in order to do this, we'll just simply come in here and double click the mouse wheel. Double clicking the wheel on the mouse issues the fit view command, zooming to the extents of what is visible in the design. As mentioned, we are finished working on the exterior walls for now. So we're going to come in here and save settings. During this lesson, you learned how to follow standards by setting symbology, drawing walls with a place smart line tool, applying precision placement via AccuDraw, and utilizing AccuDraw shortcuts. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.